Welcome to episode six of my self-discovery <laughs> ridiculous journey towards fashion illustration. I am trying so hard to teach myself this actually surprisingly complex and difficult drawing discipline and I know a bunch of you are joining me for the ride and it's so fun and crazy and I'm so grateful to you guys who are drawing along with me. It seriously makes this ride way more fun to have some partners in crime who are out there laughing along with me. Today we're talking about hands. I know you know what I'm talking about. Don't even rub in the claw thing because the struggle is real. It really is. It's ridiculous how hard it is to draw hands. Okay, and for those who have taken my other classes, and I talk about this all the time, how I struggle with drawing like tiny and in detail, I just suck at it. Um, Sorry for those children that are watching. Um, I stink at it severely. <laughs> I just, I'm not a detail person. I never have been. So it's hard for me to like get in there for the little fingers. What? It's like insanely possible. So I'm gonna do one thing today. I'm gonna make sure I always use my tiny 0.3 pencil, which I don't even have in front of me, but a small, like the smallest, finest tipped pencil I think will help. Um, I've also amassed all of my drawing books. I've opened up to all of the hand like tutorial pages because here's the thing. Um, and I actually watched a bunch of hand tutorials yesterday. I'm still struggling. Even though I'm looking at these things and I'm watching them, hands are so hard. So let's look through all the materials and we'll pick one that works for us. Um, hopefully. And if not, I'm making my own damn drawing book because I want us to learn how to draw hands <laughs> easily and well. That's it, just easily and well. So let's go. Okay, this is that book, Nine Hands, that I spent an obscene amount of money on to get. And look, oh, in honor of hands, I got this amazing, disgusting green manicure. I only get a manicure like twice a year because I don't really care about my nails so much. So I was getting wrecked anyways, but I thought in honor I would not look like a total slob. So anyways, yay, and falls here, yay. So, all right, so this is my nine hands book. And okay, so there, there, this is their lesson. And this book is amazing, no regrets, hashtag no regrets, a billion dollars. Um, so they divide the hand up into two parts, which I like, that's easy to understand. We have dots for knuckles and these little, this is kind of like how you can do the figure too, which we have, I haven't even done this, but I'm, I think Claudia and I are getting together again on Friday. If you don't know Claudia, check out episode three. She is amazeballs. Just going to come right out there and say that. So I'm going to, that'll probably be the next episode seven will be her and I again. Um, anyways, so then they flesh it out and then they add the thumb. So I'm kind of down with that. <clears throat> that makes logical sense to me. The only problem I have is that you very rarely see the hand like that in fashion figures, right? It doesn't usually look like that. Um, and then in the next picture, you're like going straight to, to me, this is like, okay, now draw it, you know, and I need like, that's not helpful to me. <laughs> that's just as complicated as having no instruction whatsoever. So I, that's a, a, that's a little disheartening. Now this one back on this page, it goes back to, you know, you have a ball for the wrist and so the joints like the body get the balls and then you know where to bend it. So again, that is helpful breaking it down a little bit better. So we're gonna do that, That that's helpful to me. And then this again, I like this like spatula shape first, sticks, flesh out, and this one just has less, uh, fewer marks drawn, and the same for this one. So that's nice. And then the next page is literally, you get you do get a little bit more. So I like this, and I have a feeling that's what I'm going to be going back to. But I have so many different resources that I just thought I'd share some other ones too. How to draw like a fashion designer. This is one of my more recent purchases. Um, this one only has... 
This is a very cool book. I just, I'm a book hoarder, as you probably have figured out by now. Um, so this one has very cool broken down instructions. I think Claudia and I, again, are gonna do this technique, which we haven't done yet, on Friday. So this will be coming, the sort of starting with a stick figure, especially now that we have the proportions. See, it's like so intimidating at first because you don't know where to put all these lines and you don't really know what's coming, but I'm glad we did all that hard work first to make the croquis like from scratch and because this for me is actually the next step. Like I can't go simple until I've gone complex. So I understand wh where the simple comes from. Does that make any sense whatsoever? It does to me, but hopefully it makes sense to you too. All right, so check these hands out. This I was kind of chuckling because like just open-ended lines. Look, and what is that? Are those fingertips? Like, is that, it's like, it's like Edward Scissorhands? Like, I don't know, I don't even know what that is. Um, oh, I guess in this one, this is actually like the cuff page and not the finger drawing page, but I just like, look at this, that's like Edward Scissorhands too. What, what is, what are those extra marks? What is that? I don't know. I don't know what those are. Are those extra long fingertips, like nail accessories? I don't know. And then this is very cartoon. They just like, oh, like why even bother like with the drawing? I feel like there should be like one more, you know, oh, <laughs> maybe not that. And I said that I grabbed my charcoal, which is like the worst choice because I can't even erase it. Anyways, I thought these were really, really funny. Um, and I'm not even coming down on this book. It's actually a fantastic book, but these renderings just show you. Look at those. That's kind of clawish, right? I mean, there's no joints. That's just straight on like dagger for fingers. So, okay. It's just, I'm glad to know that there's like choices involved. Um, and I'm trying to think if they even, I don't think they even have anything else on hands in there. This is back to that, um, the fashion sketchbook challenge that no one was able to get a hold of and I'm so sorry about that. This appears to be a dead link, um, which is just surprising because I just got this, this like six months ago. So I did, I'm, I'm so sorry about that guys. I did not see that coming. Uh, I was very, I was as surprised as you are that that doesn't work. And I do love this book, but this, like that's a claw. How come my claws look like claws and this is a claw still, but yet it doesn't look like a claw. <laughs> That is patently unfair. However, if you know, these are kind of clawish. Like, it, that is kind of a thing. So I feel a little bit better about my claw hands because evidently that is like a thing. So what I want you to glean from this though is that like, it's okay to just show three fingers or less versus more. Some of those, in the, like nine heads will show all five fingers. And I know a lot of fashion drawings you don't show that many and like look at this one that's kind of like a meaty claw too and look how stylized and awesome she is this is a very popular book and it comes in a work book form too i've seen since i got this one a few years ago and there's one that's come out since that you can get like barnes and noble that has like paper and more specific drawing activities but that is a meaty claw so and again it's like why show the individual figures just show like a mitten with an extra th thumb <laughs> I don't know and this is their drawing these are their drawings too so I just it's important to know we have options people I guess evidently according to these different books and depending on how you stylize your drawings now I think we all know I'm very far from having any sort of stylization but I just, I feel more comfortable knowing that like I can take this in different directions. Now these are wicked, specific, anatomically perfect, detailed hands. And honestly, I appreciate, I, I guess it's a lesson. I mean, how, who starts there? <laughs> I mean, that looks more complicated than the finished drawing. I don't know that I would start there. That seems crazy, but, um, but I appreciate the lesson. They have all these swishy positions, which again, like this isn't, if I was to do a drawing book, this would be broken down first, like into 10 steps. And then this would be like the last step, right? So I, I, I like that you can see the finished product because you can copy it, but like, I don't think we're there yet. That's perspective. And so that's way detailed. 
Um, and then I only have two more things to show you. This one I thought was interesting. This is from the Contemporary Fashion Illustration Techniques book. I got this one years ago. This is one of the first ones I picked up. Um, this is also how long that I've been wanting to tackle this stuff. Um, this one breaks the fingers off, <laughs> breaks the hands down into little bits, which, um, I guess, you know, I appreciate what they're trying to show, but then it's not really relevant because then they just show you a bunch of pictures of hands. So if this is how you're going to teach, like break your hand up into itty bitty pieces and like follow through, like show me on a diagram how this works with the joints, how they bend at each point. Don't just then sh the next page show me a bunch of hands. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be a hater. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. This is a really wonderful resource. It actually really, really, really is. But like, this is not helpful, except for that I get to see some hands and poses. But like, I really want a breakdown of how to draw the goddamn hands. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry, that just slipped out. I have a very bad potty mouth. Okay. So, and then for the last thing I wanted to show you was the how clever Miss Nutting is. So this book I got also years and years ago. Um, Julie, uh, Julie Nutting is, I have followed her for a long time. She just rocks. So when I used to teach kids, I used to do a ton of projects like this with my kids, um, my students. I taught for five years. I taught private art lessons to kids and we would do these, um, actually, oh, I took them down. I used to have a ton just hanging around cause I love them so much. So I used this book as inspiration and a how to, and she has her own super cool, 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 cool stylized way of drawing her croquis. Um, which again, like you kind of get like a too little information to actually make one yourself. That's decent, but I appreciate that she breaks it down from start. But so then because I had my fashion girls and or my fashion girls, my students that were interested in fashion, I got these for them. So if we had some time left over in class, they would just um, this was a quick way to do a coloring project. So these are giant stamps and these Julie Nutting sales. These, I got these all on Amazon, but she has a billion of them. And then, of course, I had to buy like a billion. I know you're like, no, she didn't. No. No, I really, really did. <laughs> well, I love them. I mean, what's not to love? They're so cool and they're huge. So, and I don't draw small, so that was nice. So you could stamp these, but check this out. Do you see any hands there? No. Hands there? No. Hands there? Oh, there's a little bit of a hand. Nope. 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 Little bit of side hand. Nope. Nope. Little bit of side hand. Dude, she gets away with like showing nothing, which is awesome and clever. And like, that's my kind of girl. Cause if I can make things easier for myself, I, I am not too proud to do that. I will completely hide her hands in every single pose. <laughs> that is fine with me. I approve Julie Nutting. I see what you're doing and I'm all about it. Um, so again, it's just nice to know that we have options, right? And if you're really not comfortable doing it, don't, and who cares? And don't be sorry. And this is probably, this is my only little tiny girl. And she has a little, like, I was going to say fist bump. It kind of is just a fist bump. So things like that are acceptable too. I mean, she's, look how successful she is. She's got publications. She has a whole line of products she's selling all without the use of hands. Thank you very much. Good job, Julie. Oh, and I just had to show you this one more. We are so going to do, I'm going to show you how to do these uh, in one of the later videos because these are so much fun. And instead of using her croquis, we'll make our own. That's my goal because this, these projects are such a blast. Um, plus it's with mixed media, which is really my, where my heart and soul lies anyways. Um, but look at that little flick out of a hand. So that's okay. We can do that, right? So I'm leaning towards like the super simplified versions and not the crazy like this. Okay. Because, um, yeah, just because that's what I'm leaning towards. All right. <laughs> 
And just so you know, there are really good tutorials on YouTube. And if you want a good tutorial, I would go get off of this video. <laughs> go watch their videos. Oh my God. Um, and, but what I did is I have a playlist on my YouTube channel and I've collected like a ton of great and there's a lot in there's like 30 videos in there right now um, a ton of great resources for you so you can go to my playlist and I feel like I've you know there's like five on hands and there's five on croquis and from different people amazing youtubers so go check that resource out that is all there for you at your convenience I I am NOT professing to be an expert I think we all know that by now. Okay, let's draw some hands. All right, some of, um, <laughs> one of my Facebook friends, Heather, you know who you are. Um, we were laughing about, talking about the hand being the size of the face and like, what in the what? And then this was back, if you go back to my episode one, I talk about, I'm gonna do like a demo review of this little booklet, which I end up, not doing because it's actually pretty useless um so i but i but i was i'm so sorry that's kind of mean it was just not the best resource bang for your buck let's just put it that way so i but so i was looking curious to see what they what their lesson was on hand so they give you this much text and like this, this that's it like go draw hands but i had to laugh because they do have the size of the head is the size of the hands and we were like saying what like how is that even possible so I have to bring my camera up for one second okay so we're talking about the size of hands for size of faces so it's not like this because this is what I'm thinking I'm like how is your hand the same size as your face you still have like unless I have a mega giant head which I do but like that was but it's actually like from your wrist your wrist to your hand. I'm sorry, I have like the fattest, grossest hands. But it's like your wrist to your hand, which, okay. If that's closer, right, if you include the wrist. So it's really like your wrist and your hand equals your head. And that's, I think, where we went wrong. So see that, whoop, whoop. wrist. It's a little far-fetched, but it is fashion drawing, so it's gonna be like, evidently elongated as well. But yeah, it is far-fetched sort of and everyone's hands are different sizes too so whatever you know what i mean i'm ready to draw and uh my newest favorite book for all of my fashion resources is now fashion drawing for dummies why because i'm a dummy and i'm trying to learn how to draw fashion drawings there you go um this is huge this is why I love this book right here. This is where I think I've been going wrong. Don't ignore the wrist bone, it says. If you do, you end up drawing an arm that pours onto the hand without definition. The result is a chunky, unfashionable look or a crab claw that's been transplanted onto your body so i think that's where i've been going wrong literally that right that one sentence that big war and they have a warning so it says draw the arm from the elbow to the wrist make sure that the arm tapers in at the wrist okay so here's my arm here's my shoulder and then here's my wrist. So arm, this goes to the elbow. This is my shoulder, right? And there's my, my gosh, I ain't got new drawing paper and it is like so slippery. And then it tapers to the wrist. Okay. This is what I've been doing wrong, I believe. And then I just, I just like keep going and hence meaty clock. Okay, so it says, don't forget the wrist. And then it like, then the, the hand gets fat again. It goes out. So it's like your wrist gets small and then your, fan, your hand gets big again. And that's whether or not you're, from, from whatever perspective you're doing. So there's those mitten ones that we saw before. And there's like your thumb. 
So now I'm going back to my nine hands. So there's that two shapes and they're about equal length. So we have this one shape equals this shape, right? And then it has, it also, whoops, you can also do it. Here's the wrist. This comes out and then you have these dots. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, the second one is the longest. This one is the second longest. <clears throat> this is about the same length as this one and this is shorter. And then you can also put curved lines to join these and then you can flush them out. Now that's if I wanted to draw all the individual fingers, which I don't think that I do. Okay, and then the little poor thumb then the thumb comes from all the way down at the wrist. And I think that's like uber important. There also can be like, it can come out this way. Okay, but the thumb and the wrist are like tied together and I think that's also my problem. Cause look at this mitten that I drew here. The wrist is, the thumb is like, it's like down here. It comes off. So that's kind of a big difference as well. But I think this this part is very important. And I did watch a YouTube video and it didn't have very many views compared to some of the other ones. And she does make, she does, and it's kind of like sideways, it's not the highest quality production, but she makes a big, big deal about the wrist bend right here. And I do think that is key. Because if I was looking at all my other drawings, and sure enough, again, this is the nine heads book. See that wrist bend? That's important for differentiation. And the more I look at drawings, the more I think that's key. And that's what I was leaving out. So this tapers and then it gets wide again. No matter what position your hand, are in, your hand is in, it's tapers. And then it gets wide again. Look at this funny little digital one. Okay, so it tapers at the wrist, and then look how big that looks. That gets really wide again. So let's pay attention to that much more carefully, and I think that will help. Well, I'm talking to myself here, um, but that will help with our claw situation. Now I just need something to help with my camera situation. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Good job. All right, so again, tapers at the wrist, and then it gets big again. Um, this is, again, from the Dummies book, and this breaks the hand down into, like, basic shapes, which, meh, it is helpful. Um, but I think that that kind of just goes along to most of the croquis when you're breaking it down into basic shapes. Again, honestly, this funny robotic sketch is also helpful. So you have the arm goes down, tapers down here, and then look how wide those hands open up to be. So let's draw an actual couple fashion sketches and put some hands on there. Okay, so I'm gonna trace because I really want my hand to get the feel of this whole tiny detail drawings. I'm just not good at that and my my hand is not used to drawing this small so I'm gonna trace I have my light table out because I want to literally have experience <laughs> drawing this tiny without having to worry about super accuracy um, and you know counting heads and all that um, but this is a great way to build muscle memory and this is also why like children learn to draw it's fine to trace so so when I have this little hand here this is one pose and this looks a bit clash so I think so again this is getting teeny tiny together tapered at the race at the race at the wrist right here see how little that is and then we're going to get bigger on either side. 
And then it looks like the fingers, there's two here together, I think. And then there's one here. And then the thumb is on the other side. So this line is actually not really drawn, but um, I wanted to draw it for myself to kind of reiterate the fact that this is going to widen out. I think that was my biggest problem was I was just segueing into the hand without having that break in the wrist right here. Oops. Breaking my leg right there. So to me that looks big. I would even make that <clears throat> thinner. Maybe have like your pinky out or your pinky could come down here I guess. But anyways, um, I'm going to trace a couple of these so I can start getting an idea of what people do. Alright, and that's pretty simplified. Now, if I trace this one, I'm going to get an idea of what is happening with her hands. So let's see, your body comes down. And it always like goes to the elbow and then it widens and then it tapers and it widens and it tapers. Here's the wrist. And then again, it comes out. This really comes out on either side. It widens at the top of the wrist and at the palm of the hand as well. And then you have this little thing there. And I like, just want to throw a bracelet on like right away. Okay, and let's do this side. So we have the elbow here, shoulder here. And I really feel myself, when I was drawing just for fun this week, I was not tracing and I was just copying some stuff off of Pinterest. And just like, because I had drawn those painful, god-awful crow keys at the beginning, I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I know roughly the, the lengths of the arms. I know that the, you know, the, the legs can run for miles. And that's like a cool look. <coughs> and I was surprised how much I kind of knew already. And that's from going through those, that process. All right, so here, I'm going to, there's like one finger here. And then, I mean, I think we could even put the, these last two together. Just have like a little break here. So, again, it goes wider at the palm, and then this comes up as well. So this whole thing is becomes wide as soon as you taper. So that taper was lost on me, and now it's found! Um, what else do I have got going on? This one, do you not just love digital drawings? My next life, I'm going to be a graphic designer, I think. So this is exaggerated, but I mean, a lot of these hand drawings are exaggerated also. And I'll show you more in a second. So we have this slim, 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 slim body. I mean, that wrist tapers to like a millimeter and then the palm of the hand and the back of the hand splay off. And this is very, very simplified. So I'm loving the like less is more approach, the Julie Nutting approach where you just see a bump. This is like a triangle that leads to an arm. Because it's really not about the figure, it's about the clothes, right? Anyway, so you don't, I feel like I'm getting less stressed about the hand. You don't, I'm not going to kill myself learning the dynamics of a hand. That being said, I have yet to really find a drawing book that shows you how to draw fashion hands, like a nice simplified one in different directions. I have scoured Pinterest. I have watched the YouTube videos. I have a thousand books and I am not happy with the level of instruction I'm getting from anyone. Here's a different hands in different directions. But like, that, those are not fashion hands. So I think I know what I need to do, but we'll talk about that later. Um, I, this is another great example. I found this online, which it says it's from Fashion Drawings for Dummies, but it's actually not in the book book, but it is online. They had, um, and I like this. 
So it shows the ball of the wrist again and the ball of the elbow and the connecting the two. They separate them, but I don't know why you would have to separate them. You can just simply join up your lines right here. And obviously the wrist bone, as we're learning, needs to be pretty small. And then I like how they <clears throat> break up the hands into just these shapes. And I've seen, you know, there's like a mitten shape. This is sort of a triangle. Oops, triangle. And then the thumb comes off here. And the finger is here. So there are great ways to simplify. Um, and I think I'm going to focus on the simplification. Again, here's that, ring, that wrist bend here and here, which helps just really differentiate the hand and the wrist. So the wrist comes in, in here, in here, and then the palm goes out and then out from there. So that for me is my biggest takeaway of these lessons. Isn't even the fingers, it isn't even the claw, it's actually how the wrist inter, inter, interlocks with the palm of the hand. And then I think you can really do just about anything. So let's look at this one. Graceful, simplified. Again, we have a body going this way. And all you see is this little, the taper to the wrist and then a bump. But this comes, again, there's your bend right here, and then your wrist comes, the rest of your palm goes up. And that's really all you need. So I'm feeling more comfortable simplifying and breaking things down. Um, I think that there is nothing wrong with that. I was pinning my heart out the other day too, and was looking at these really, really phenomenal, abstract, super stylized drawings. Look at those hands. Say so what now? Look at that. You absolutely know that those are hands. Look at one line for the legs. These really abstract shoes. One striking eyelash. And that is far out. But you know, the human brain fills in the details as necessary. So how cool is that? Again, super detailed chest. You're just simply not gonna see these because people are looking at the clothes and not the details in the hands. The same with these. I mean, I like this as a reference because you know the direction, but I don't think we're gonna be drawing this hand in. I think you're gonna draw the taper. We're gonna draw the taper, right? And then what's important is that directional shift And as this gets wider, you know, and we can really do this. And that's where the kind of generalized shape comes in. And we can do this if we want to separate it. But from afar, this is more important than this. You can't even get that level of detail unless you're using like a microscopic kind of thing. So this is what I'm going to be aiming for. Look at these. Stop it. That's awesome. Looks like a bird. Looks like a bird in the distance, right? <laughs> but you know what they are. So less is more, I truly believe. Um, again, you have very generalized shapes. Oh, my phone is ringing. Um, and this one is a little, this is a little less abstract and more real, but you still have, um, a very loose rendition here, very loose. And again, you have the taper to the wrist and then goes out and it gets bigger, okay? So for me, that's the biggest take takeaway. Um, 
<laughs> this is more of the, that Edward Scissorhands kind of thing. I mean, I feel like, but look at that taper, man. It's taper, taper, right? Bulge for the palm. I don't even, I don't, I still don't know what that's all about. But I mean, that's just sort of the artist sort of saying blah, 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 fingers. I mean, that's what that means, right? It's like blah, 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 fingers, no one even cares. This is just her fist. But again, see the taper, 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 and then that goes in. And then once it hits the fist, it goes, these lines go out again. Okay. And again, this one is super slender. Probably as long as her face from wrist to tip is her head. And you have the taper taper and then you have the bend at the wrist and just three fingers. These are very claw like I think her thumbs are super too short. They should probably be like this. But again, you have that taper in and the bend at the wrist. And she's less Edward Scissorhands. I love this thumb, but this is all stylized too. And that's the beauty of the artistic license here is getting to do what you want. Here's another one. Um, this again, taper, and then there's a big chunky she tapers here. And then there's, there's almost like a 90 degree angle here, but this is bigger for the palm. And this is sort of a couple fingers just loosely represented here with one in the back. So this is almost cartoonish, <clears throat> but I love this drawing. Look at this drawing. So look how beautiful this is. And that's just a very simplified, but, you, but the important part again, and this almost looks, this could be like a leg to a calf, the same as the upper arm to the lower arm tapers and then comes back out again for the palm. Look at this. Look at that. Just a one line indication, totally abstract, absolutely stunning from top to bottom. So I think our lessons here are less is more, simplify, focus on this intersection, the wrist intersection, narrow, wide, and that will help us decrease the possibility of the human claw condition and that is what I'm going to focus on going forward. Claudia is coming tomorrow. We will be doing episode seven and we were, are going to be doing um, quicker croquet peas, um, fully fashion drawings. Um, we're going to try to do quick ones from using the stick figure. So we're going to, we're going to do the S curve. We're going to do the C curve and we are going to be moving our shoulders and our hips. That is going to be next and to draw some rockin' awesome bodies. Look at me, I'm fast already, woohoo! All right, and we will get going on that and I will see you uh, tomorrow for episode seven. Thanks for watching, you guys. You can join us in the Facebook group. Just search Awesome Art School. I'll put the link in the description box. Um, if you're having such a fun time with these videos, feel free to share them on your Facebook walls and in your different drawing groups as well. It is, this is just for fun. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't go so far as to call this a course, um, but I am feeling myself getting better already. Um, I've done some fun doodles in my off time and they are looking much better than they ever would have looked had I not been going through all these steps. So thanks for drawing with me today. Um, if you wanna throw a like, on in and put a comment in i would love to chat with you um <clears throat> and um if you want to subscribe so you don't miss out that will be rocking awesome too all right i love you guys thanks for being here i'll see you for episode seven 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 okay bye